All right. As many of you may or may not be aware, it appears that the Ubuntu Snap packages are coming to a Linux distribution near you, and they're not going to be entirely indigenous to Ubuntu. So today, we're going to play with Snap packages on Manjaro right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Before we begin today's exercise, I need to make a few small points. This is not a review. You are watching a usability experiment on real hardware. You are getting my initial impression of the software. I will miss any elements which are transparent to end users on first glance. I did not take the time to go through all of the nooks and crannies and research every little detail of this software, just enough to get my tongue wet here. I did not spend enough time with this project to form a valid opinion. Viewers who are offended by my policy are advised to peruse alternative venues for their edification. With that out of the way, let's begin. Since we're going to be primarily working in the terminal for today's exercise, uh, we need to pull up a little bit of documentation. Now, I'm only able to cover the Arch-based distributions uh, for today's demonstration. Um, however, it is my understanding that Snap packages are now available on Fedora, Debian, and all the other distribution families that are out there. Theoretically, they should be anyway. And uh, if they're not, have a little patience. There isn't a whole lot of stuff in there anyway. So basically, what I'm going to be doing in today's exercise is I'm just going to be following the documentation that's listed here on the Arch Wiki. And uh, we're going to do everything that it says, and we're going to give this um, a try. And uh, we will determine if uh, the snap packages are really snappy, or are they crappy? Okay, the first thing we need to do is... Let's go ahead and get it installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do Yaourt, SnapD. Please watch in high definition so you can read the text on my screen here. All right, and you'll see there is one package here. All right, not only is this going to install the SnapD package, it's going to also pull in some other dependencies. No, I am not going to edit the package build. Okay, and it looks like it needs to also build snap confine from the AUR. I knew that was going to happen. I'm not going to edit the install, but we're going to continue building snapd, and then it's going to grab the package build for snap confine. Do we want to edit that? No, we're just going to go with this uh, the way it is. Believe me, I already put this to the test, guys. Whoops, my bad. Let's do that over. Got ahead of myself here. Okay, I am not editing the package build. I'm going to continue building Snap Confine. Got to love Yaourt, how it just builds things for you on the fly. Now, you could probably also build this using Pamac in Manjaro, but I prefer doing everything from the terminal. And you could see that didn't take very long to compile at all. Something I need to point out here, according to the wiki, SnapD installs a script in Etsy Profile D to export paths of binaries installed with the SnapD package and desktop entries. Reboot once to make this change take effect. Now, I may not need to uh, have to do that because I've had these packages already installed on the system and I have done a test on this already. I completely uninstalled it, and uh, I'll go over those things. I noticed a number of errors failed to fetch a newer version and that sort of thing. I've noticed this. This is the third time I've noticed this, and um, it really hasn't affected anything as far as I can tell. So I'm guessing that's normal. 
Okay, now that it is finished compiling, we can continue installing. We just press enter for yes. Okay, now we need to enable the SnapD socket, as it's saying right here. And, of course, uh, that information is also on the wiki. Now, if we want to um, have the service enabled at boot time, then we're going to need to tell system control to enable it, and then we're going to start it. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. Uh, we're going to go uh, sudo system control enable snapd dot socket. Okay, and now whenever the system starts off, the the, the uh, SnapD socket will be started when we start up the computer. Now we need to start it since it's not running right now. Okay, and now that system is uh, started there. Let's say we want to peruse the many different applications that are already available. All right, well, we can run uh, this simple command called snap find. And you will see here it has given us a listing of some of the many different uh, programs that are available to us. All right, it's kind of messy here, so let me go ahead and change font on the screen here so that we can get a better view of this. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now I can see what uh, we have available. Now, um, I don't know about you guys, but um, I know I've tried the Atom text viewer, and that thing took quite a while to actually um, compile on my system. Well, this is already a pre-compiled binary, so we can actually install this. This is the Atom C Wayne. So I'm going to highlight that, right-click, and copy. All right, and then we're going to tell Snap to install it. Snap, install, Control-Shift-V to paste. Ah, I have to tell B sudo to do that. Duh! <laughs> oh, righty then! And then it is downloading... Um, Adam C. Wayne. And it's also going to download Ubuntu uh, Core as well, because it's my understanding that it's going to need some dependencies from Ubuntu. We can go snap list. All right, and you're going to see that it does have both Adam C. Wayne and Ubuntu Core. But let's uh, have a look at our blocks here. You can see here what this has done is it has created its own little uh, loop mounts. Okay? And inside, here, I can do a better explanation of this if we uh, actually look at our file system. You're going to see here that we have a folder called Snap. All right? And inside these folders, for instance, we have Adam C. Wayne, all right, and the Ubuntu Core. If you look in these folders, you're going to see it has its own root file system within there. This makes it convenient because now if there is a specific dependency a piece of software requires, maybe an older version of... Um, you know, a dependency, it can have that particular dependency that it needs for the software to successfully run while you still have that other dependency installed on your main system, which is pretty darn neat. To execute this file, we're going to need to make a shortcut. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, reopen our terminal here. We're going to just change directory to... Um, 
that bin directory, and then uh, list the files that are in there. And you're going to see that there is the Atom file. We're just going to execute that. And you can see the Atom text viewer is running. So we are good to go there. We're golden. Um, cool stuff indeed. And of course, um, this recognizes my settings that I had in my home directory. So we didn't get a welcome screen asking us to set this up and that sort of thing. So cool stuff indeed right there. So you have the convenience of being able to uh, install packages. Snap find is what I wanted to do. You're going to see here, there really isn't a whole lot in here, but it looks like there's more in here than there was the other day when I gave this initial test. All right, now, um, let's go ahead and close Adam, because now I want to show you the problem that I have. Um, when we go to um, remove this, you're going to see something here. So when we go sudo snap remove, it gives us an error. So it can't be removed from the system just yet. All right. And the only way that I could think of to, and actually to remove this, I had to run U-mount. So let's go ahead and open a tab here. List block. All right. And it looks like I'm going to have to sudo U-mount slash dev slash loop one and it's saying that it's busy so yeah it's it's kind of tricky here um, adding packages is easy but um, I may have to reboot the computer or something like that to actually be able to you know, remove these packages. Now, um, the Arch Wiki, it looks like they've added new information. All right, we're still getting a target is busy. So that 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 isn't very intuitive there. So at the end of the day, I must concede that this is a tremendous effort on the part of Canonical to enable developers to be able to package their software and be able to deploy those packages across any, literally any distribution that they want. Um, this, it is my understanding this will work with just about any Linux distribution out there today. And who knows, maybe this could work with BSD in the future as well. So um, I think it's a great idea. Installation of packages was very snappy and very easy to do. However, I ran into the bottleneck removing packages and actually unmounting these systems. And even the uh, ArchWiki, pretty much, they gave details on um, completely removing SnapD, but not just, you know... Um, and even when you, when you do unmount the loop device that contained the software that I wanted to uninstall, it still didn't want to remove cleanly. So I know that part needs work. It could be something wrong with my computer and not necessarily a problem with the software. It just could be something sym symptomatic of my machine. If any of you have experienced uh, that same issue, please uh, be sure to uh, mention that. So, uh, snappy or crappy, I'm going to have to say this is definitely snappy. It's a great idea. One thing that would make this better, maybe a few things that would make this better, you've got to have a GUI for this so that uh, people can uh, easily sort through packages, be able to, you know, uh, see what loop points are mounted and be able to unmount them easily, make the package installation and removal process a little bit easier, and uh, having a GUI front end for that would be great. I'm going to put in a uh, feature request uh, for uh, Phil Mueller and Guillaume that they consider adding snap packages to PAMAC because I think that would be a great addition. But um, 
I think I'm going to wait a while to see just how well this progresses before I even put in that feature request because I do want to see if, uh, you know, uh, j just how big this gets, you know, how big their repositories get and uh, whether or not there's a, you know, if, if, if this is something that's, uh, that's really going to grow. I certainly hope that it does because it is a good idea. It's just that it needs work. All right, well, that is all I have on this. Um, so if you're using Archer Manjaro, you think this is something you might want to try out, you know how to do that. And, of course, um, other people, other distribution families, you're going to have to, um, you know, uh, consult your distribution provider to find out um, how to uh, get snap packages working on your systems. In my next video... I'm going to cover the Linux distribution which convinced me to kick Windows to the curb. That's right, I'm going to be looking at Linux Mint, and I'll be looking at their latest released version 18, the Cinnamon Edition. That's coming up next time on Cup of Linux. But until then, peace out. Mm -hmm.